Carl Adels was as tough as they come from the first moment he stepped on the floor in Philadelphia. A stray shot is picked off by Philadelphia's Al Adels. He goes all the way for the talent. When the team relocated to the Bay Area, Adels continued to earn his imposing nickname. He was known as the destroyer. He was very tough and fast, and it was nice to know that a lot of people didn't want to ever mess around with Al. During his 11-year playing career, Al averaged 9 points and 3.5 assists per game. His aggressive, hard-working style and tenacious defense earned him respect and the nickname, the destroyer. I'm not you know, trying to be a tough guy, because I really wasn't, but I, I got into a few of those scrapes. And for some reason, the majority of the time I got in scrapes, it was always with guys 6'10", 7 foot. Later on, someone began calling me the destroyer. The nickname stuck, but I have no idea why. The man, above all, is a man of character. I played with Guy Rogers, Nate Thurman, Tom Mascheri, and one of the most competitive teammates I've ever had, my presenter, the incomparable Rick Barry. I am humbled to have competed with so many great athletes of my era. I didn't have the gifts and the talent that most of the other players had, but I did it my way. One of the most famous games he participated in was in March 1962 in Hershey, Pennsylvania. Al was perfect from the field going eight for eight while scoring 17 points. That game, however, was best known for teammate and best friend Wilt Chamberlain, whose 100 points in the contest is still an NBA record. <laughs> That's my Adam. 